Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a hot minute since I last made a video and I'm so sorry. I've been so super busy, but I'm so excited to get back into filming videos for you guys. And of course, to jump right back into things, I'm going to be doing a makeup video. They're one of my favorite things to film. So this video is actually gonna be something similar to what I did in the number generator challenge. If you haven't seen it, I will link it below, but instead of the number generator, we are going to be picking crystals out of a bag. So I don't really have crazy colored crystals, so I don't think this look is gonna to be too out there, but honestly, you never know. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna get started doing the base of my makeup like always, and then hop right into the eyeshadows. So let's get started. So I always start off my makeup by going in and filling in my eyebrows, and today I will be using NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. Once my eyebrows are all filled in, I go back and clean up underneath with L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Ivory. My eyebrows are complete. I like to go in and do my foundation, and today I'm using Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Foundation in the shade Fair Porcelain. Once my foundation is all blended out, I like to go back in with the same concealer and just put this under my eyes or to cover up any pimples I have. Once my concealer is all blended out, I go in with the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder and I'm just gonna use this to set my face. Once my face is all set, I just like to go back into my eyebrows and use the e.l.f. clear brow gel just to set them into place. So now that the base of my makeup is complete, we get to go into the fun part, the eyeshadows. So for today, we're gonna be picking four crystals out of the bag. So it's gonna be for the crease, the lid, the lower lash line, and the inner corner. 
So the first crystal that I'm gonna be picking out of the bag is gonna be for the crease. So we're just gonna go right in and pick one of these crystals. So we got the tiger's eyes. So this is kind of like a tan with a little bit of black in it, but we're gonna go for the majority of the color in the crystal. So we're gonna get a tan color. So today I'm gonna be using the Shane X Jeffree Star Palette and the closest color I have to the tiger's eye would be Diet Root Beer, which is this color right here. So we're just gonna be putting that into the crease. Done. It's a pretty neutral color, so I'm excited to see where this look is going to take us. The next crystal we're going to be picking is going to be for the color of the lid, so <laughs> let's see what's going to happen here. So we got amethyst, which is purple. Actually, amethysts are my favorite crystal, so I'm really excited that I picked this one. And the closest shade that we have to an amethyst is probably this dark purple here and that shade is controversy so i'm just gonna put controversy and pop that all over the lid So I actually love the way this look is turning out. So I'm excited to see what color I'm gonna be getting for my lower lash lines. So we're just gonna go right in and pick another crystal. So for the lower lash line, this is a rose quartz. It honestly looks white on camera, but it is a very, very faint pink. So I think the closest color I have to that is my pills, which is this shade right here. So we're just gonna be putting that into the lower lash line. So the very last crystal I'm gonna be picking is gonna be for the color of the inner corner. So I'm just gonna go right in and pick the last color. So this is Sodalite, which is a darker blue. So I'm just gonna pop that color right into my inner corner. And the closest shade I have to that is probably the Simulation, which is this shade right here. So this is the finished eyeshadow look. I kind of love it. It does look a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna go in and finish up the rest of my makeup and see how that brings it all together. So I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. So 
So after I put on my mascara, I'm gonna go in and throw on some lashes and I'm gonna be using the Ardell Foam Mink Lashes. So now that my eyelashes are on, I'm going to go back in with a powder and I'm using Revlon Color Stay in the shade Fair. So next I'm just going to go in with the Hula Benefit bronzer. After my bronzer, I like to go in with some blush and I'm gonna be using Tarte in the shade Blissful. So next I'm gonna go in and do some highlight and I'm gonna be using Jordan Lipscomb's Trooper Palette and I'm gonna be using this shade right here. So to finish off the rest of the look, I'm going to be putting on e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Mocha Twist. And to finish and set the whole look into place, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. So this is how the final look came out and guys, I am living for it. It looks like a cotton candy dream and I'm obsessed. Like I am so excited that this was not a fail and it actually came out with a pretty cool look. So I'm just so super happy with how this turned out. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Like I truly appreciate every single one of you that sits and watches these videos. Like it truly means so much to me and I cannot emphasize that enough. I love creating these videos for you guys and I promise like more is to come. I am so excited to get back into filming and everything. So I just want to say thank you again and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.